It's a pick by Love. Miami grabs the miss. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted, and really, I, I've been, I like the movement. And so that's the end of the... It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal. A tremendous game we're seeing from Chris Bosh. He had 13 points and one rebound. And that's going to do it for now as the second half is almost ready to get started. Back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We're going to sit right here and wait. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. You look at Chris Bosh in this game, I mean, he, he's been everywhere. And he really just broke out the entire arsenal of post moves there in that first half. And I think he might even have a few more tricks up his sleeve. I mean, he'll break them out as we start heading down the stretch. I'm sure of that. On the floor for Miami, Dang and Bosh, your small and power forwards. Dragic is joined in the backcourt by Wade, and it's Whiteside in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The drive by James, and that one's good. LeBron's got the first basket of the third quarter for Cleveland. The Heat leading by eight. Rogic dishes to Bosch. Bosch a screen on Smith. Here's Wade. The kick out to Bosch. The Heat rebound. Here's Whiteside. From down in the low post, it goes. Whiteside's got the lead up to 10 now for the Heat. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Here's Irving. He has seven. Love outside. Five to shoot. And the powerful one-handed slam. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out? Almost like the one-two punch. Wade can't hit. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Now James. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Smith. Fires the three. Good. And the assist goes to James. James has got five assists in the game. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Well, Greg, after a run of 10 playoff trips in 11 years, the Miami Heat missing the postseason last year, they'd end up a game back of the eighth spot. Yeah, and, and what's hard for the Heat, Kevin, is that they were in the playoff picture for most I of the I want you to focus on getting to the rim. Let's look to attack quickly. We need high percentage shots. Move the ball around and make the defense rotate. You know, guys, for the greater part of last season, it appeared as though the Heat were playoff bound. Even with the players they lost, most figured they would be playing postseason basketball. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Wade, LeBron with the block. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. And here's Love for three. And there's the call on James. That'll be his second foul of the game. Miami leading by five. Rockets the pass to Bosch. They get a hand on it. And stolen by James. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And, and guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yes, indeed. And that's his style right now. That's his game. He plays it as well as anyone. And when we get the crunch time, that's when he's at his best. 
And one reason why the Heat did come up short in their playoff aspirations, they were very poor against other teams in the playoffs. They only went 15 and 31 against teams that had made it into the postseason last year. The Heat making a switch here. Green's checked in. LeBron kicks to Mozgov. Love with the screen for Smith. Cleveland moving the ball around. And Love throws it down. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. And you know, it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been stellar as well. Clark, their offense has been great here. Yeah, I love the way they've looked really strong and together. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. LeBron with the block. Irving attacking, and that one is hammered home. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, it's been a really good game for sure. I mean, it looks like it's going to stay tight throughout. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would come down to the end. Green inside the three-point line, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Irving kicks to LeBron. A three. It's rebounded by Bosch. Miami's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Just some amazing stats put up by Chris Bosch early in his career. But having been in the shadow of LeBron and D. Wade over the past few seasons, one wonders if Bosch is now a little bit underrated. He's talented and gives you everything you want from the power forward. Tonight. And he gets it to go. 15 points for LeBron. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. And the shot is good. Green's got four points in the quarter. Oh, how about the floater there? Nice drop. Here's Irving. Nine points in the game so far. Love outside. There's a screen picked by Mozgov. James dishes to Mozgov and stolen by Whiteside. The drive by Green goes up and lays it nice and easy. And now a three-point heat lead. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Miami. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That That's just pure effort and hustle. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. James, the pass to Irving. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It's on Chris Bosh. And guys, for everything we've said about Kyrie Irving over the years, Miles talked about maybe another area, and that is his willingness to give up the ball. LeBron came to town at the beginning of last season. Kyrie didn't even flinch at the prospect of being 1B to 1A. To me, that was a very selfless way of giving the mantle of that team over to LeBron. I agree with you, and there was some question as to whether Kyrie would be able to do that at this point in his career, but ultimately that's what champions do. Kobe did it for Shaq. Robinson did it for Tim Duncan. And that's really what great players do. And Thompson kicks to Irving. Back to Thompson. There's the killer two-handed slam. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I think some urgency <laughs> from him there. Yeah, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. And getting back to Kyrie, many felt the addition of LeBron would cut down on Kyrie's playmaking opportunities. But, but Kyrie was near his career average in assists last season. That even further indicates how seamlessly the two superstars were able to gel. Irving against Chalmers. Chalmers with a screen on Shumpert. It's Trogic with the drive. Stoudemire, the screen. Six to shoot. And Chalmers kicks to Whiteside. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Whiteside's got ten points. You know, talking about the effect LeBron had on Kyrie last year, they looked fantastic work.